What's up, everyone? Is it too late to buy Brett and Toshi, which are the top two meme coins on a base chain? Well, in short, in my honest opinion, I don't think it is because I believe they have the potential to reach multi billions of market cap this bull run cycle. Now, Brett and Toshi are both very unique. They have some similarities, but they also have some differences as well. And we're going to be looking at some key facts for both of these. Now, before we dive into each one, let's talk about what is Base Chain and why is it important for those that may be unfamiliar. So, Base Chain, in simplest terms, is a layer two scaling solution on Ethereum that was developed by the crypto exchange Coinbase. And the whole mission behind Base Chain is to make Ethereum more accessible, more affordable, while still keeping the security of Ethereum while trying to onboard a lot of new people into the crypto ecosystem. And so the reason why this is important, well, when you look at the masses and new people coming into crypto, 99% of the time they're coming in for the first time on a major exchange secondly a lot of times they're coming in as well from a meme coin that they heard about a lot of times they're not coming in looking to buy bitcoin first they're looking to actually buy a meme coin just look what happened in 2021 the doge and shiba cycle it was absolutely crazy and so the reason why it is important is because number one coinbase is the largest exchange in the US and the US predominantly is one of the strongest countries when it comes to crypto and so when people are looking to get in they're going to use Coinbase and they're going to have an easy on ramp to get into meme coins thanks to Coinbase so to put this all in a context for you meme coins of course is going to onboard a lot of people people want to invest in the top meme coins well Brett and Toshi right now are the top two on base chain base chain is going to experience a lot of new adoption thanks to coinbase because coinbase is the largest exchange in the u.s and the second largest exchange behind binance and so this is going to help people get an easy way not only into crypto but into meme coins that people are talking about and so this is why base chain is so important and if you look at the market caps that brett and toshi has already reached you can see it definitely has the attention of the crypto market just imagine when the masses really start to come in so now let's kind of dive into what is brett because when you hear about base chain meme coins most of the time you're only hearing about brett right now there have been videos put out on toshi uh, kind of when it first launched but not any recent recent videos so i definitely want to highlight toshi as well because i do like toshi and if you're looking into base chain meme coins you definitely don't want to sleep on toshi all right so looking at some key facts for brett brett was launched february 27th of 2024 which was just last month so this project is not even a month old yet and it's already the largest meme coin on base chain which is just crazy it has a built-in community with pepe and that's because brett is pepe's best friend which you're gonna see a little bit later because it is one of the top meme coins on base chain people are gonna want to invest into it which is going to help on board more people into just crypto and into the base chain ecosystem it is a first cycle meme coin which typically good first cycle meme coins that has that strong community behind it performs very well it has that coinbase push support what do i mean by that this ties into helping on board and so if people are wanting to get into brett Coinbase most likely is going to help push Brett even further to the masses to help onboard more people. And then the last thing is it is a chosen meme coin by base. What do I mean by that? Because it is the largest meme coin in the base chain ecosystem, that means it is the chosen meme coin by the base community. And so now that you know some key facts about Brett, let's go ahead and dive into the chart. Now, looking at Dex tools, we can see Brett currently is around a 274.5 million market cap. Liquidity is very healthy, over 2 million, has over 22,000 holders, 3.63 million for 24 hour volume, and the circulating supply is 10 billion. Now, 
for me as we can see the market is down as a whole so it's definitely um expected to see meme coins being down as well which does create buying opportunities now one thing i would like to see the all-time high is over 500 uh, i believe it's around 510 plus million is the all-time high for brett so we're about basically a 50 percent almost a 50 percent decline but i would like it to see it touch this previous all-time high which is around 220 ish million so we're not that far off and in my opinion not financial advice i'm never telling you to buy hold or sell but i believe this will be a sweet buy zone because i have a good feeling if we get down this low we're going to bounce off of this level which is why i have this level here i would like it to see it retest that previous uh, all-time high and then bounce off up to the upside right again not financial advice but this is the current you know brett chart and again as you can see february 27th is when this project launched not even a month old yet and it's already taken the number one spot on base chain now if you look at the uh current twitter here it is based Brett, so that way you have the right Twitter account. I also will have the socials for both of these projects in the description, so that way you get the proper information. And the last thing for Brett here is the website, which I think is pretty dope. And as you can see, introducing Brett, Pepe's best friend, on base and so because of pepe is one of the larger meme coins and if you know anything about pepe pepe gave us that crazy meme coin season in the bear market right and pepe still has that strong community which gives brett that built-in community as well and that's what i mean by that so this is basically the website for those people who want to know how to bridge over to base chain you can go ahead and watch this current you know minute and 40 second video super super short right on the website and then for those that don't want to bridge and you just want an easy way to get into the base chain ecosystem stay to the end of this video and i'm going to show you an easy way to get over into base so now let's look at some key facts for toshi so as we look at Toshi, for those that don't know, Toshi is named after Brian Armstrong's cat. Brian Armstrong is the CEO of Coinbase, all right? So you can kind of see the correlation. Now, Toshi was launched November 8th of last year, 2023. So it's been here four months now. So for people that don't know, Toshi was actually the main first native meme coin on base chain, not Brett. Brett just came and took the show because it is the largest meme coin now, which is just crazy. Now you have the first meme coin on base, which is Toshi. People do like that narrative. It has utility and DeFi development, which we're going to come back to a little bit later. It has the same reasons as Brett helping on board. It is a first cycle meme coin, which is same reason as Brett. Coinbase push. So if this is helping onboard people and grow the Coinbase ecosystem, Coinbase is going to have an incentive to help push Toshi to the masses. The next bullet point about Toshi, it has some staying power, right? It's still fairly new, but it's been here four months and counting, which is why I say it has some of that staying power. Then you have the ecosystem help expand base. Why do I say that? Because Coinbase, they're wanting to expand base chain, not only on just bringing new users into Coinbase, but they're wanting to grow the DeFi ecosystem as well and toshi utility and DeFi development is going to help support this and this is why i say you shouldn't sleep on toshi right so let's briefly look at DeFi llama real quick so i can make a quick point to you so looking at DeFi llama real quick you can see the base chain tvl total value lock is around 709 million at the time of this video and remember base chain launched august 6th of 2023 last year so not even a year old yet and it's already approaching 1 billion in tvl so if toshi is able to capture any of this market capitalization when it comes to the DeFi market based off of what they're building for their ecosystem this can make toshi extremely valuable and this is why i say you shouldn't sleep on toshi let's look at the chart all right so here we have the current chart for toshi you can see the current market cap is around 119 million so about a 2x less than brett a little bit more but a but around a 2x less in market cap than brett liquidity is still very healthy around 1.28 million has around 21 plus k holders and you can see the circulating supply is 420 billion and as you can see it cons it consolidated 
quite a bit in this range and broke to the upside as well right so again if you look at this current chart and you look at the market cap 119 million right under 120 million you look at brett brett is sitting around 279 million right and remember not even a month old if you look at toshi it is four months old launched november 8th of last year so if you look at their twitter here just to make sure you get the right one it is going to be toshi underscore base again i have the uh, socials down in the description for you to make it very easy and then one of the last things i want to show you is their website and as you can see welcome to toshi town right it has an entire ecosystem that it is building toshi tools learn more about each one the two things i'm excited about is they have their own swap that they're uh, going to be putting out which i think is going to be dope and if it does well this can bring so much value to toshi then you have the launch pad as well and then here are their official links and then if you go to their website, they're going to tell you how to add base chain, how to bridge and how to buy as well. All right. So very, very simple. They do have some NFTs as well. So in a nutshell, that is Toshi. Now, real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to get over to the base chain for people who don't want to bridge. So let's jump over to Simple Swap. All right. So when you get to Simple Swap, what you want to do is you want to go to the send part here. And you can either use Solana, Ethereum, which are the main two that's being used the most that you can swap over for ETH on base. So what you want to do is you can just click here and you want to type in ETH and you can see is right here. It's the second one. It should be the second one for you. But if not, you want ETH that's on the base chain. All right. So now what I can do, I can just send over regular ETH or I can even send over Solana as well. So let's say I want to send over 10 Solana. That's going to send me a little about a half of ETH already into the ETH chain. So what we're going to do is hit exchange. OK, let it load. And now Simple Swap wants to know, OK, you're going to send us 10. So we're going to send you 0.55 ETH on base. So Simple Swap wants to know, OK, where are we actually sending this Ethereum? This is when you're going to need your um, base address and you're going to paste it right here. Once you paste it here, you're going to hit create exchange. Once you hit create exchange, it is then going to tell you where to send your soul. It's going to give you a soul address. Then you send your soul over there. It's going to give you a uh, page where it shows you the proper uh, time or not necessarily time, but it's going to show you the process as it's sending, exchanging and sending it to your wallet. You can see that you don't have to refresh the page. It will reload on its own. Once you do that, now you are in base chain. What you want to do then, you can go right over to Uniswap. Once you're in Uniswap, you can either go to Dex Tools. Remember, copy the proper ad address. Head over to Uniswap. Right now it's on Ethereum. Move this down to base. Select token. And we're going to paste Brett in there. Boom. Yes, I understand. Now, once my wallet is connected, I can go ahead and purchase as much bread as I would like. The same thing if I want to do it with Toshi. I'm going to copy that address, go to Uniswap, make sure I'm on the base chain, paste it in there, and there we have Toshi. And now I can buy as much Toshi as I would like as well. So the easiest way, you can either use Simple Swap, Change Now, Changely, and I believe there's another site out there as well that's pretty legit that you can use. And this, and this is just a quick way to convert your crypto into another crypto on whatever blockchain you want. This link will also be down in the description as well. So I know we unpacked quite a bit in this video. Definitely rewatch it. But again, I do think Brett and Toshi have the potential to reach multi-billions of market cap. So I definitely should say, put these on your radar. Don't sleep on them. Let me know down in the comment section what you think, and I will catch you all on the next one.